Okay, magandang magandang araw sa inyong lahat mga kababayan. Ipapaliwan ko sa inyo dito ang tungkol sa debit and credit. Okay, para po ito sa mga sa mga accounting student beginner. Siyempre beginner. Kaya accounting 101 tayo. Okay? Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng debit? Basically ito lang mga ano no, mga chong mga idol debit in terms of accounting is left side. Left side, left. Kaliwa. Credit is right side. Okay? Yun lang yun. Left and right lang yan. Yan lang ang uh, uh, gamit nun. When you say debit, it means put the amount to left side. Credit, put the amount to the right side. Ipapaliwanan ko yan. Uh, Tutok lang kayo. Ngayon, meron tayong tinatawag na accounts. This is yung TIT accounts. Yan, right. Dito sa top na to ay uh, either asset account Kasi di, yan niya yung title eh. Title dyan eh. Title ng account. Title of the accounts. So, meron tayong di bang asset, liabilities, owners, equity, uh, accounts. Yan. Assets, liability, and owners, equity. Okay. Tandaan nyo yan ha. Ngayon, balik tayo sa T-accounts. Okay. Ang sinasabi ko sa inyo, yung debit ay, di ba, left side, credit, right side. Tapos dito sa top of this, pwede ka maglagay ng account title na cash. So, cash, example lang to, no? is an asset, right? Asset. Okay. Ngayon ay, uh, let's say, uh, Sa liability naman is accounts payable, right? This is liabilities. Right? And sa owner's equity is uh, owner's equity yung retained earnings, di ba? So, laging meron yung left side and right side which is this is debit credit and either that's a uh, only left and right ngayon in practical or purposes ano ang application niyan ganito yan papaliwanag ko sa inyo so alam naman natin yung accounting equation right accounting equation i asset is equals to liability plus capital or um, owner's equity to eh, basically di ba subdivided yan to expenses and revenue yung kabawasan nito at kadagdagan nito right okay ganito expand natin yung equation asset is equal to liability plus okay ganun tayo ngayon Mm -hmm. Capital, owner's equity is revenue minus expense. Yan. Mm -hmm. So, ito, yan. Basically, this is the debit side. Normal balance. Normal balance. Uh, debit side. And of course, credit side. Uh -huh. Ngayon kung ipupunta natin tong expense, lagay natin para hindi kayo malito. Magiging increase siya, 'di ba? Debit side siya. And of course, plus na 'yan. Uh -huh. 'Di ba? Kung meron man which is credit side. Okay. Now, ang uh, example, example tayo. 
Okay. Uh, let's say you have a uh, amount ng $149. Uh, okay. Uh, you purchase uh, supplies. Okay. So, gagawa tayo yung T-accounts. Merong debit side and credit side. Mm -hmm. So, dalawa yung account mo. Merong cash at merong ding ano, supplies. Right? Whether it's a supplies inventory or expenses. Meron din yan. Credit side. Credit side. So, laging ang debit is equals to credit. Right? Okay. Nabawasan yung cash mo. So, punta ka dito sa yung credit, di ba? Eh, nadagdagan naman yung supplies mo. 149. 149. So, debit. Meron debit. May credit. So, two side. Two accounts. Okay? So, pag inano mo yan, pag uh, nireport mo yan sa, sa balance sheet. So, cash... Uh, supplies so meron kang 149 hindi ba debit yan debit credit and 149 <laughs> nabawasan nadagdagan total parehong 149 so naintindahan nyo ba Hope you understand the explanation. Ang pinupunto ka lang dito is debit is equals to credit lagi. In terms of accounting. Tapos, uh, merong ano eh, rules dyan. Increase and decrease. Laha, yung asset, increase sa debit. Natural, yung... Uh, Asset, credit. Hmm. Pag increase, punta sa de debit. Pag decrease, punta sa credit. Baliktad naman ngayon sa liabilities and capital. Liabilities plus capital ay increase sa credit, decrease sa debit. Okay. That... is all folks hope you like this video subscribe and comment thanks for watching until next time